Right, so in the previous tutorial, we have seen how we can use Tix package uh, for complex rollings. And uh, now let's see how we can draw uh, graphs or plot graphs uh, using uh, LaTeX. So there's a package called uh, PGF plots that comes with uh, some sort of libraries uh, for drawing these uh, plots and graphs. And uh, yeah, first let's import our package. So use package PGF plots. And this package is for uh, graph plotting. Right, now let's go back to the document and Let's create a new chapter called maybe graph plotting. And uh, yeah, we can uh, plot uh, 2D graphs and 3D graphs uh, uh, by using this uh, PGF plots package. But uh, first, let's see how we can uh, draw 2D graphs, right? So let me say, let me name a new section called maybe 2D plots. Let's build it out as well. Right. So we have this section. And uh, this uh, PGF plot package actually uh, internally use this uh, text picture environment as well. So in order to use this uh, PGF plot package properly, it's better to uh, wrap our uh, plots with this text picture package as well. So yeah, first we need text package. So we have imported this uh, text package before. So if you go up here, here is our text package, and this is our PGF plot package. Right. Uh, and since we have imported our PGF plot package. Now we have the access to uh, this specific segment, which is axis segment. So axis. And uh, yeah, now if you just simply build it. Yeah, you will be having this sort of axis, right? So currently it has this uh, default axis mapping to 0 up to 1. And this is a uh, 2D plot, right? But uh, within this uh, axis matrix, we have to uh, plot the graph, right? So, in order to plot a simple 2D uh, uh, graph or 2D uh, plot, I will simply add plot. I will simply use this add plot command. So, in the add plot command, uh, you can uh, give uh, whatever graph you want in uh, mathematical format. So let's say I want to uh, plot the exponential of x. So you can specify this exp command to get the exponential values. And uh, to the uh, dependent variable, you can give whatever uh, element or whatever variable name you want like this. So currently I'm varying from x axis. So x axis exponential value will be plotted once I given the command like this. So now let's build it again. Yeah, uh, I think we have to specify the semicolon otherwise the text package won't be able to build our graph. Right, now you can see that uh, we have this uh, exponential uh, values like this right so it's vary from uh, x axis uh, by taking it as a dependent variable right and uh, yeah so you can specify uh, whatever color you want as well uh, so maybe let's say i want the color as maybe green or maybe red and let's build it again
right now we have this uh, red line instead of that uh, dotted blue graph yeah so based on your uh, requirement you can specify whatever function you want and uh, pgf plot package will build it up for you and the text picture environment uh, basically render this sort of graphic image for your uh, graph right so that's the basic stuff for plotting 2d graphs and uh, maybe you can even build uh, more uh, advanced more customized graphs as well uh, for example let's say uh, maybe you want to build uh, some sort of a uh, curve like this uh, with this uh, named axis and uh, legends and all uh, so you can do that as well so first you have to specify this begin pictures and begin axis and within this add plot uh, you can uh, maybe specify a different uh, uh, function so maybe let's say I'm going to use this uh, you know polynomial function uh, something like this x to the power 2 and 2x minus 1 maybe so this will give uh, some sort of curve like this yeah so we have this curve and maybe instead of color red maybe let's use blue and uh, maybe let's say we want to uh, label our axis so you can do that as well so in this axis segment you have to specify several options uh, so first thing is x label and uh, yeah let's simply put it as x and uh, y label uh, let's keep it as fx and let's build it yeah uh, actually it, it doesn't uh, able to build because uh, these x and fx uh, related stuffs are uh, somewhat uh, pre-built syntaxes so you have to ignore these values otherwise uh, it will uh, try to access these specific uh, values by considering it as a parameter right that's why it's giving these uh, uh, errors because these are uh, uh, syntaxes comes with the pgf plots package but uh, we need just textual component so let's simply ignore these values like this um, right and this as well right now let's try to build it again Um, yeah, I think I have misspelled our Y label. Build it again. Right, now it's able to build. And here we have FX as the Y axis name. And we have X as the X axis name. And uh, maybe let's say if we want to uh, add the legend uh, to this. Uh, graph uh, we can use this uh, add legend entry command and uh, you have to pass uh, whatever function you want as well and uh, make sure to ignore these values otherwise uh, it will try to build or it will try to uh, uh, access this as variable it will try to um, consider this as variable right? uh, and yeah now let's build it again yeah you have to mention the semicolon and i think i have missed spell that one as well so it should be add legend entry and let's build right now we have this legend as well but I think uh, these 
graphs are somewhat too close so maybe we can add a vertical space of maybe one centimeter yeah we have maybe this space is too large let's add 0 0.5 it again yeah the graphs are having uh, in two pages um, mm, mm, mm. so maybe we can uh, scale down one of these graphs right maybe let me scale this one down to maybe 0 0.8 Yeah, now we have two graphs in the same page, right? Okay, so that's how we can draw graphs. And maybe if you want to center these graphs, you can specify those options as well. Uh, like this, so those graphs will be centered. Right, I think it's happened because of yeah first we have to consider this entire thing as a figure then we can center it out but uh, yeah for now i think this will be not mandatory because our focus is to draw graphs right and uh, yeah so that's how we can do, uh, draw 2d graphs by using this uh, uh, pgf plots graph package uh, and yeah so maybe in the next video let's see how we can draw 3d plots as well and uh, yeah thank you